how did Walt actually physically administer the lily of the valley to Brock? <laughs> that's, that's an excellent question. And my, my writers and I uh, would always tell the story to ourselves of, uh, of the evil juice box man. Hey everybody and thank you for watching another video. My name is Merge and this one's going to be a lot shorter than my usual takes on Breaking Bad scenarios but it's a question I've asked myself while watching the series and I'm sure any fan of the series will have the same question and that is how exactly did Walter poison Brock? When could I have possibly gotten it? But like I said I'm going to keep this one short and sweet and to the point but if you can leave a like on this video to support the channel I'd appreciate it. Now let's get into it. Walter sits outside in his backyard just waiting for an attack from Gus. And as he contemplates his next move while spinning his gun on the table, every time it stops, it points right back at him. But on the last spin, the gun will point towards the plan, Lily of the Valley, giving him the idea for a diabolical plan to win Jesse back over to his side. And he thinks back to the night before when he visited Jesse's house and how there was a young boy there, a boy that couldn't have been any older than eight years old. But not knowing much about him, he would take a shot in the dark and call Saul to get any information he could. And it turns out that Jesse was basically funding Andrea and Brock's lifestyle for the past few months. And did you ever wonder how he knew where Andrea lived when he visited her during this scene? I mean, Hi. even she was confused about who he was. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Walter White, Jesse's friend. Oh yeah, 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 of course. But after talking with Saul and getting the information that he needed, he found out that Brock actually went to the same school that Walter Jr. went to as a child. And with him and Skylar being a part of the PTA at the time, there should still be some familiar faces out there. So when he gets off the phone, Walter puts his plan in motion and he starts by picking some berries off the plant and crushing it up into a paste. From there, he sizes things up a bit where he's able to take a syringe and mix the berry paste into a juice box. And I don't know the exact measurements for how to make poison because... Yeah, but according to Walter in this scene, he was pretty precise. Don't you think I knew exactly how much to give him? Then I had it all measured out, come on! So once he has the poison juice box ready to go, Walter quickly heads over to the elementary school, and when he gets there, just as he thought, there are a few teachers that he recognizes. So playing to one of his biggest strengths, Walter's able to talk his way into the classroom where he catches up with the teacher while the kids are out enjoying recess just before lunchtime. And as Walter's pacing around the classroom and talking about what he's been up to, he stumbles across Brock's book bag and lunchbox, which conveniently has his name labeled on it. And with the juice box in his pocket, Walter decides to bring up his cancer diagnosis, asking for some water, just to get the teacher out the room. Very similar to what he did with Hank. I'm sorry, I don't... Um, do you, do you have any coffee? Maybe I can... Coffee? You bet, yeah. So while the teacher leaves him alone in the classroom, Walter quickly switches out Brock's juice for the poison. But right as he finishes zipping up the book bag, the school bell rings and the kids flood back into the classroom, including young Brock, who was accompanied by the teacher who's holding a cup of water. And doing his best to avoid being recognized by Brock, Walter says he has to get going and takes the water to go. But on his way out the door, Brock catches a glimpse and holds on to the image of the bald man with the funny tape on his nose with the glasses, referring to him as the juice box man. On his way back home, Walter calls Saul and gives him an assignment to have Jesse come to his office and have Huel lift the rice and cigarette off him. And when Saul questions why, Walter simply responds saying, I'm doing this to help Jesse. Now get it done, Saul. And as he hangs up, Walter returns home and he waits for the inevitable to happen. And the rest is history. Hey everybody and thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed another addition to the Heisenverse. And understandably there's not much to dive into here, but I feel that the chain of events paints an accurate picture for what actually happened. So the next time you're watching Breaking Bad and you watch the episode End Times, think of this video as a missing scene, a deleted scene if you will. But that's just me. But now I want to hear from you guys. How do you think Walter poisoned Brock? Do you think I'm onto something with my idea or do you have a better theory? Whatever it is, let me know down below in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Until then, my name is Merge. Later.